that's the sort of gift John has, and he doesn't mind being rude. Not, he didn't mind being rude to me or anybody else, and he just wanted to write a rude song. Like I say, he didn't mean it forever, and he didn't, I'm sure he didn't think about it all. But at the time, that's a statement, the way he felt, and it's perfect. I love it. You have all those hassles with Alan Klein and, and Eastman, and there were dirty things going on. Nobody can really look behind the curtains. And uh, it's impossible for the outsider to really know. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you details uh, to, to make, make people look bad or something, because that's no point. The people don't want that, really. They want a nice documentary, and they want to know about uh, the situation. John was real pissed off. There's no doubt about it. And he had lots of reasons for it, in lots of directions. And that's why he wrote that song. I think it's part of the charm. Like you say, like kids poking each other. He, he really likes to take the strong words to make, make the song strong and uh, make it really, he wanted to really let steam off. And that's what he did. I think it's valid. And uh, I know that lots of people must have been very upset that John writes a song about his Paul in that sort of way. But uh, that's the way he is. Yes, yes, he did. It's a very, very difficult subject. And uh, like you know, in a song, he's nasty. He can be very nasty and sometimes unjust, too. And uh, like I said, um, it's no good if I start telling the details about why and what happened. Uh, really bitter things that happen on both sides, which uh, each one, because of his mentality, can't forgive the other one. There's things that Paul will never forgive Yoko for. The same John has, has th had things he will never forgive Paul about. But I'm not going to talk out of the, he called it the Nähkästchen in German, which means you don't, uh, I'm not going to say those things.